Hello traders, hello investors, how are you guys doing today my friends? Last week, last Friday, I did propose a game for you guys. I asked you to try to guess which stock could potentially beat Tesla in the midterm, considering it is a stock, it is a big fancy stock, it is among the mega cap stocks, which has good fundamentals, solid fundamentals, and it is trading in a critical position. Why is NVIDIA this stock? Why NVIDIA has such an amazing upside potential that could even beat Tesla, at least in the midterm? Because honestly, long term speaking, Tesla is still the winner, but uh, in the midterm, NVIDIA has such an amazing upside potential. I will explain to you guys why in details in this video. First, remember my friends, click on the like button to support this channel and subscribe to keep in touch with my daily analysis. I'm here every single day keeping you guys updated on what's the best regarding price action and technical analysis. All right. Now, let's see Nvidia. Let's talk about Nvidia. Why is Nvidia such a great stock right now? Uh, most of you guys, it feels like you you were compelled towards Apple, Microsoft, Amazon over here. Guys, these stocks, they, in, there is no way these stocks could beat Tesla in the midterm, all right? I mean, maybe this is a real possibility, but uh, what you have to consider is a stock like Apple, for instance. This one is doing many good technical movements. It did a bullish pivot point over here. It broke this purple trend line. It is reversing the trend for good. It has the odds of an upside are quite high right now, but the upside potential, it is nowhere close to the upside potential of Tesla. Why? Because Apple is a low volatility, low beta stock. It has low beta, low volatility. It, I mean, not necessarily low beta, but it is a, it has a lower volatility than many other stocks. For instance, let me give you guys an example. From Friday's close to the previous resistance, we are talking about 20% upside potential. This is, yes, it is amazing. It is incredible. Very, very good. I can't complain about 20%. But guys, Tesla, from Friday's close, to the previous res resistance, we are talking about 46%. Why such big difference? Because Tesla is a volatile stock. Volatility is the key. If you want to beat the market, if you want to beat your own passive investments, you got to consider investing on the right stocks, the right volatile stocks at the right time. Okay, so timing is important. The process, the whole process of stock picking is very important. Selecting stocks with high volatility is an extremely, extremely delicate uh, point of swing trading. And uh, by the way, if you want to swing trade with me, consider subscribing my newsletter. I, I share my own personal swing trading portfolio with you guys. I think you guys are going to be pleased with my performance. We are beating the market by a mile. Check my, tra check my track record here. It is public. Okay. I am 100% transparent because I am very extremely confident on my own trading approach. All right. So if you want to trade with me, check my website. Uh, now, why is Nvidia such a good pick right now? I know. The sentiment is not the best. The, the, semi, the semiconductor industry is facing a very problematic situation right now. However, I'm not talking about long term. Remember, I'm talking about mid term, a stock in the mid term, which has good fundamentals. Fundamentally speaking, Nvidia is quite solid. OK, I know it is not as solid as Apple. It lacks the phenomenal financial health. It has an excellent financial health, but it is not phenomenal. It lacks an amazing future potential, but it is great. 
okay, we don't have an amazing, perfect, flawless track record, but it is a very good track record. In addition to this, its valuation is simply attractive right now because NVIDIA is trading below its fair value. So yes, fundamentally speaking, NVIDIA looks quite good, quite solid. It is trading below its fair value. If we compare with other stocks, uh, some of you guys talked about Coinbase. Coinbase fits on, 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 on my description. It is a big company, leader of its industry, very famous. Everybody here heard about Coinbase, but look at Coinbase's fundamentals. It is nowhere close to the fantastic financial health we see on NVIDIA. It lacks a good track record. Its future upside potential is still a little bit too shady. So although Coinbase has an insane upside potential, it is a riskier bet. And I am not talking about that kind of bet right now. I'm referring to a good solid company trading below its fair value. NVIDIA fits more in this description right now. So it is not that risky. Okay. I'm trying to find a, I, I, I am trying to find a common ground over here. Okay. I'm not talking about a, a, an extremely safe company, but at the same time, I'm not talking about an, ag an aggressive company. Okay. So NVIDIA to me is right there on the middle. I think to me, when, when we analyze NVIDIA's chart, it is breaking free from this descending wedge over here. As we can see in this purple, uh, by these purple trend lines over here, we are breaking the upper trend line. This is quite good. And, and in the weekly chart, we are at a critical position. See the support level at 115? It is a support level seen on 2021, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. All right. So we retested the support level four times in the past. And uh, this dates back from September 2020. So we are two years back on the price over here. So yes, the situation is extremely critical on NVIDIA. And considering it is such a great stock, good fundamentals, trading below its fair value, it is at a very important support level doing in the weekly chart this candlestick pattern over here, call it above the stomach. This is a very famous candlestick pattern. I mean, not famous because, yeah, I don't, I don't think it is famous, but it is a classic candlestick pattern, call it above the stomach. This one over here, see how similar it is? Above the stomach, bullish reversal 66% of the time. It's not me who's saying this, it's Thomas Bukowski, one of the most famous authors, researchers about candlesticks. So see this pattern over here, 66% of bullish reversal. It is right here on Nvidia, on the weekly chart, above a crystal clear support level. In the daily chart, we are breaking from this descending wedge. In addition to all of this, it feels to me we have an inverted cup and handle chart pattern going on on NVIDIA. And what is the upside potential, Nathan? Well, considering Friday's close, when we broke from this descending wedge, the next meaningful resistance is 193, 54, 56 upside potential. I told you guys, it is not that much higher than Tesla, but considering all of this scenario in the midterm, again, this is a midterm analysis, all right? I'm not seeing NVIDIA will outperform Tesla in the long term because I do not believe that, all right? But I do believe that considering all of these technicals, all of the fundamental analysis, all indicators are pointing to me that if NVIDIA recovers, if everything works out for NVIDIA over here, and again, again, I'm not saying it will, I'm saying if, if everything works out for NVIDIA, the next technical target is 193, 56% upset potential. This is why NVIDIA is such an interesting stock to play right now. I am very, very curious on NVIDIA. And by the way, by the way, we still have two open gaps 
above the price. Nvidia always filled the gaps that appeared above the price eventually. So maybe it's going to take a few months, maybe it's going to take roughly one year or even more, but I do believe these gaps are going to be filled in the future. There are no more open gaps on Nvidia, uh, of course, except for these two, okay? So yes, we do have a bullish thesis on Nvidia, what could potentially frustrate this bullish thesis if Nvidia finds a resistance in this area, doing a false breakout from this uh, descending wedge, and if in the weekly chart we lose 115. So see, the risk reward ratio is quite impressive right now. Therefore, Nvidia is among the best stocks to trade that I see right now. It is just like Tesla. It is just like other stocks that I that I think are particularly interesting. And uh, well, I think this is it. I think you guys enjoyed this video, right? So seriously, consider subscribing, consider clicking on the like button to support me. I really appreciate your audience, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow in the Finance Hydro channel. Stay safe, my dear friends. Farewell.